Well, greetings Gemini, and welcome to your horoscope. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, Mercury retrograde certainly affects you, and it affects your getting tongue-tied in a matter of speech, it affects your relationship with money and material things, it's affecting your relationship with your family, and even like how you were raised, you know, like maybe between 7 and 14, what went down, you know, that's stuff to think about, um, okay, you're going through a lot of transformation with this Pluto, <sighs> Jupiter, Saturn thing. Now, now, here's the good news. It's like, you know, Jupiter and Saturn, they're both the gurus. You know, they both are. I mean, <clears throat> one of my teachers, Andrew Foss, who wrote uh, Yoga of the Planets, he would say, said to me, Saturn always comes with a club. <laughs> or often, you know, it's ready to club us when we're out of line. And so it's, it's really true. It's very true. And Rahu, or the north node of the moon, can actually act like Saturn. This is not something that you, you know, tropical astrologers use and stuff that much, you know, but some of them do who really know the deep stuff. Um, it's kind of a, it's an eclipse, and it's sort of romantic, it might be a little volatile, because, you know, Neritri, she's not content and a lot of times Mula Nakshatra is associated with disquieted women in some ways. It's like, you know, they have a Nakshatra for that. Yeah, but this is the deal though, is that she brings, gets rid of stuff that you don't need really. And then you go into your spiritual life and then real wealth starts coming to you that's solid. And you have a direction of how to use it and what to do about it. <coughs> <coughs> All right. 